Hey everyone, my name is Elliot. Today I'll be showing a demo on how we can use the responsive sensor and the various layout controls, vertical and horizontal, to lay out content on a page responsively when it changes size. If you go to our support site at support.salientprocess.com forward slash spark dash UI dash controls, you can see a list of all the spark controls available, including the responsive sensor, an article describing how it is used, and then the JS documentation that defines all of the configuration options and methods available for the control. I suggest that you look at the responsive sensor article that may give you a better idea of how to use this control. If I return back to the coach view, we can go ahead and see what the coach view is made up of. So we have on the outside a responsive sensor, and nested within the responsive sensor, we have a horizontal layout with another horizontal layout here and here with three input groups with text in them within each of the horizontal layouts. Each of the horizontal layouts will act responsively as the page changes size and hits their box factor. And again, if you need to learn more about what a box factor is or how you can use the horizontal layouts to act responsively, you can look at our article on our support site. So, within this horizontal layout on the outside, if we look at the configuration options, and then under the responsive drop-down, you can see that we define the responsive sensor's control ID here, and then within that, we have our box factors that we are going to be using on this horizontal layout. In this case, we have a mobile and then a tablet box factor name. You can also see that there are options to adjust what happens when we hit the box factor or when the page gets to the defined size by each one of these box factors. So the box factors are defined within the responsive sensor control. If we go over to that and then go to the configuration option, you can see that we have the drop down here and we define mobile to be 450 pixels and tablet 1050 pixels. If we look again at the horizontal layout, it's box factors. You can see that we have the mobile defined and the tablet defined. Within this horizontal layout, we have the mobile and tablet, but the mobile is set to vertical when it hits that size, and then the tablet's horizontal. And then the same will be true for this one. I'll go ahead and run the service now and show you how the content changes as we change the size of the page. So as you can see, we have the horizontal layout, meaning that all of the content within it is going to be laid out horizontally right now because we've not hit any of the box factors. If we shrink down the page, let's say to this size, then you can notice that now instead of having them all side by side we have one stacked on top of each other and this is because of these box factors within this horizontal layout it vertically aligns both of these and then these are horizontally laid out still if we continue to make it smaller when we hit the mobile box factor size now all of them are stacked vertically on top of one another so now both the box factor here to vertically align them is being applied and the box factor with each one of these horizontal layouts is being applied. This concludes our demo. Thanks so much for watching. Have a nice